Seven years ago, Nicole Gallardi was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia. She participated in two clinical trials over five years, but relapsed both times. After the second relapse, Nicole was sent to hospice. After I was placed on hospice and given three to five weeks to live, um, I started planning my own funeral. I got baptized and I wanted to be buried next to my father in a Catholic cemetery. While in hospice, Nicole learned that she had qualified for a new clinical trial utilizing a revolutionary new treatment, CAR-T cell therapy. In the past, we would have therapies which were chemical agents. Here, we're taking the patient's own cells and enriching those cells to fight the cancer. Healthcare companies developing CAR-T immunotherapy use Thermo Fisher's DynaBeads technology. The antibody-coated magnetic beads isolate, activate, and expand T cells that are genetically engineered in the process to recognize and fight cancer cells. Immunotherapy is a technique that exists for some while. What's different here is we're actually able to isolate and enrich the precise cells that are going to attack the cancer cells. 28 days after starting CAR T cell therapy, Nicole's leukemia was completely gone. Essentially, the DynaBeads technology enabled Nicole to fight the cancer herself. By taking her cells, expanding and enriching them, putting them back into the body, her cells have then fought the cancer and cured it. After receiving news of being cancer free, I was overwhelmed with joy as my family and friends were too. Nicole continues to be in complete remission and this experience has given her a new mission in life. After my last doctor appointment confirmed that I was in remission, I feel that I can be a voice for children who fight leukemia and now I am an advocate for CAR T cell therapy. For more information on how we help advance cell therapies from discovery to commercialization with Gibco CTS reagents, bioprocessing, analytics, and cryogenic logistics services, go to thermofisher.com forward slash cell therapy. And for more information on Nicole and other leukemia survivor stories, visit emilywhiteheadfoundation.org.